As I've said previously, the saga with Donald Trump, all the trials, the criminal prosecutions, the civil cases, have served a useful purpose only insofar as they've shown the American people just how corrupt and compromised our legal system is. It's not just a question of President Trump. It applies to many people in this country, particularly if you get on the wrong side of a judge or a jury or an opponent in a political case, this is what happens. But it can also happen in your daily life and it can happen to you and it can happen to me. So it's important that you go to freedomwatchusa.org and support us because we are fighting to make our legal system honest and open and even handed for everyone. That was the reason why we fought the Revolutionary War when the King took our legal system away from us. Well, we brought it back and unfortunately, it's now even more corrupt than it was under King George III. Now, whether you like President Trump or not, whether you want him to be elected president or not, the fact is, is that this country has been nearly destroyed in three years under the Biden regime, under President Biden, to use the term president loosely. He is in the state right now. He had to be basically led off the stage by his former superior, Barack Obama, just this weekend in Hollywood, when he was there for a $30 million fundraising with the so-called beautiful people. You know, one of the expressions that I've always liked, it's very well known, what is Washington, D.C.? Washington, D.C. is Hollywood for ugly people. Well, the people in Hollywood are ugly in a sense as well because they have destroyed this country by supporting people like Joe Biden and others. They think somehow that chic. They're basically individuals who don't have much sense of right and wrong. They just do whatever it takes to sell films, and that's about it. But the bottom line is this. You cannot count on President Trump necessarily being elected, if that's what you want, this fall. It is very likely, given that scene of Obama leading Biden off the stage when he didn't know where he was, and just a week before that, he didn't know where he was at Normandy when he was giving a speech on the D-Day celebration. He just wandered off, and the president of France had to grab his arm and bring him back. Actually, he was the prime minister of Italy. This is something which is very serious. The Democrats, you can bet, are not going to allow Joe Biden to run for president. They'll remove him, probably after the first debate in a few weeks. And the Democrats will put someone in who is much more appealing to the masses. Because unfortunately in this country, people don't pay great attention to policy to vote on the basis of appearance to a great extent. So my prediction is, as bad as he is and as how much he's harmed California, Gavin Newsom will probably wind up to be the nominee of the Democrat Party. Now, he's a good looking guy. He's someone who can appeal superficially to the masses. And this is why you need to rise up now. It's the reason that you cannot wait for a political messiah to win. It is up for the American people to clean the country up, to bring it back to a sense of right and wrong. What I said last Friday, common sense, a great amount of common sense equals genius, a Chinese fortune cookie foretold to me. So I want you to understand that no matter who wins this election, we have a big job to do. And that's why we need you at Freedom Watch. And we're gonna be filing lawsuits and we are, have already filed complaints against the judges who have stepped out of line in regard to many cases, because the judges in fact are our most important public servants, but they're not serving the American people. And that's one reason why our legal system has become, become so compromised and corrupt. So go to freedomwatchusa.org, contribute to our cause with tax-deductible contributions. Remember that the father and son will only help us if we help ourselves. And I'm wearing sunglasses today. I'm almost finished with my red eye where I hurt my eye. I'll probably take them off in the next few days and then I'll reveal the real Larry claim <laughs> if you want to see my face. Sounds more like a Dave Chappelle skit. In any event, I'll see you tomorrow with another special podcast. Until then, thank you for listening to me.